Hi everyone, it is Andrea and welcome back to the channel. It's that time again, it's time for a haul. Now I was going to be good this month but it seems to have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, I had some money left over to spend uh, from my bonus so yeah. I'm going to start with this. So these are just some gel pens. They're supposed to be scented. They're alright. They're nothing special. They just came on the front of a magazine I bought. A colour magazine. This one's got a broken top. But uh, there's half glitter and half non-glitter. And they got two of pretty much each colour. Two green, sort of like two oranges. Uh, two pinky reds. Two yellows. A purple and a blue. Um, and so on. They're alright. I have coloured a picture with them which you will see. Um, but like I said, they just came on the cover of an art magazine, so I will show you the magazine um, when I get to the books because it's in there. Uh, I bought two new sharpeners. I bought uh, just this one. This just came from Lidl's United Office double end double pencil sharpener. So it's got the two. I haven't opened them yet, as you can see. So I've got that one. But I also got a stead little one as well because they had those in because it's getting back to school stuff now. Even those holidays have only just begun. Um, so I thought I'd get those. So. They're always good to have spares. Okay, so it's a gal or the doll lets me down. Now, wanted these for a while. Um, I don't have an artist near me, so I did have to get them on Amazon. It's the Colours of the World crayons and the pencil set. I haven't got the markers, but I have got those two. And they're quite, you know what, there's some really nice colours in there, and I will use them, I think, on something. I will definitely try them out. So you've got 24 different colours. I love and I love the smell of crayons. They just smell absolutely beautiful, the different colours. And I've even swatched them out because they have got colour names, so as do all the Crayola stuff. So that's those. They're very nice. I do like them. But like I said, I have only swatched them. I'm doing the little stuff first. I did get um, another water, a uh, sparkly watercolour palette. I saw this on somebody's channel. I can't remember who it's from, it's probably on the back. Iridescent and Shimmer Watercolour Paints, Creative Expressions. Um, and it's set one metallic, so I will have a look at the website actually. Um, and I just thought it might be interesting. And they are lovely colours, as you can see I've used them a little bit on a page, which you'll see in my completed pages when I film that. I haven't filmed it yet, I'll probably film it tomorrow. So there's a couple of like four golds, then there's some red, rose, gold, and then some bronzes, and then a load of silver, and this is sort of a metallic -y, blacky one, and they're really nice actually. So I thought I'd add that to my little arsenal. I got a very tiny bottle of the Glossy Accents, because I haven't used it yet, it's very bright isn't it, I'll just that's just the lamp a bit, turn it into the wall slightly so it's not too bright, that's a bit better isn't it? Um, I've not used this yet, I plan on using it very soon, but I, everybody uses it and I wanted to, to try it. So I've got a very small bottle, this is around the size of a Stickles bottle I guess. Um, so I'm going to try it and if I like it, I'll get a bigger one. I went in the works today and I bought the Cosmic Colour Sharpies. So as you can see they're normally 9 and 9 they added them on for 8 quid. So I thought alright I'll get them and I will have a look. You can't see them because they're not in frame. But yeah, so what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of various colours. So you've got two greys, sort of a lilac-y colour, two blues, three greens, a couple of an orange, a couple of pinks and a, a burgundy colour. So yeah, got to give them a try. They're very nice. Oh, you've seen these in a video because I have used them. Sorry, everything's on the other side of the camera, which is very stupid of me. These are the, oh dear me, the Amazon pencils, uh, pens, the twin markers that uh, Chelsea had. And I got them because Chelsea had them and I thought they looked really fab. So I thought for a tenner for 48, I really enjoyed using them. They're really nice to use. So I would personally buy them again because they're nice and cheap for like taking on holiday or something like that. Yeah, so if you just put in Gurkst, because that's the name they come up on, under, which is G-U-R-K-S-T, I think or G-U-R-K-K-S-T, something like that anyway. Uh, G-U-R-S, no, G-U-R-K-K-S-T 48. They'll come up. So there's those. Yes, I do like using those. And because I don't have enough glitter pens and gel pens, <laughs> I do really. I bought the Scribblicious 
60 gel pants set. This is from the works. Now I got this, I, I ordered a load of stuff on the works and if you ordered 10 pounds you got like that's 30 quid you got some like free shipping so i bought some stuff for jennifer and i bought some stuff for me and it's in this little set like that and you've got 12 pastel 12 neon 12 metallic 12 glitter and 12 fluorescent so i think those are the glitter ones on there but there you go i haven't looked at them i haven't used them i haven't swatched them yet i will do soon these look like the metallics to me they look kind of fluorescent. They definitely look a bit pastely. And they're whatever the last ones were. Oh, and there's neon glitter as well. Um, don't know. But hey, they look nice, don't they? Pastel. Metallic glitter. Mm. I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried them. I will try them out in a book fairly shortly. But I just thought, you know, why not? It's in a little case. I can just take it there's enough in there it'll do i'm very hot because i've got this lamp on and this lamp my lamp burns hot so yes i thought i wanted to try them when i saw them advertised um but they don't they've never had them in store they've got individual packs but they've never had the 60 pack and so for a tenner 60 gel pens i'm gonna give them a try you know why not so yeah quite like i like the way they set out in that actually let's pop them down there so, like everybody else, and you saw this on Jelsey's channel, I got the pastel low set. Now, they're not in there, as you can see. I'm just going to see if I can take it a bit more. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. So, it's a pastel low set. They're not in there. So, I bought a pencil case to put them in because I didn't have one. Um, so, I bought this one, and that can now go <laughs> the recycling. I bought this one. It was only like $8.99. It holds, I think, 72 um that is really nice there's nothing in that one as you see some spares which is really quite good because i have actually got quite a lot of tins i wouldn't mind putting them in like they're, they're doing with metallics and stuff i might stick them in there so they look really nice actually in the, the case and again i have swatched them and they are lovely and i'm going to do a picture just with these probably in um one of the joe bassford books i think in world of flowers because i've only colored one in that so and then I was very, very naughty. I've been having a few mental health issues this month. But I also had some money left over from, oops, excuse me, my holiday and work. So if I just push this up, because this next box is very big. Now, the only person who knows about this is Chelsea, because I told her. <laughs> I treated myself to another set of Prisma colours. The reason being is that mine are getting stubby. I do use all the colours and i've been saving this i haven't opened them yet you know they're not cheap i know that but oh, i wanted another set because i do love them i'm using them a lot again at the moment in my books them and the uh polychromos so i want to get a spare set they can stay in the box until i need to use them but i, I love the box and oh look oh Aren't they beautiful? Oh, so beautiful. Of course, there's more than one layer. They come out like that. Beautiful, beautiful blues. So, yeah, I treated myself. I'm not going to get them all out now because I don't need to. I'll get them out when I need a new colour. I'm just going to shut the box. And it is magnetic, so it does stick quite well. So, I'm just going to put that back down. So, those are all the supplies I've got. I'm going to have a quick tidy up, put all the supplies away, come back with the books. I do believe that's everything supply-wise. Yes, it should be. Yes. Is it? No, there are some pens I bought that are downstairs. I'll just go and quickly get them. Oh, I'm shattered and hot. <coughs> so the last two things I bought was, I bought these... So that are ten ballpoint pens in different colours. Now these are more for writing in my diary than anything else. They write really nicely actually. They're really nice pens. But they also have the Ted Norris dual tip felt pens. There's one missing because I was using the light. There's a light green that's missing. Um, but I was using it, in, I'm using it in a book. So it's downstairs somewhere with a book. So I just gotta find it. It's on the coffee table. I hope 
and these are very nice as well. I've only really used the green so far, but um, yeah, they're really nice. I don't know, they're, they're really cheap. They're like in Lidl's. So I thought I'd pick up a pack. If they're still there this Sunday, I'll probably pick up another pack. I quite like them. Quite nice for just doing. I'll show you the tip. So you've got a, a fairly fine tip. It's not that fine, but it's not too bad. And then you've got a thicker nib as well for bigger areas if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, they, they colour really nicely. So something else to have. Put that away in there. Oh, I can. Now this packet actually opens and closes. That packet you just repose, the other hand you just repose them. So that definitely is all the colouring supplies now. So I'll go and get the books. Okay, onto the book haul. I've got quite a lot of books actually. There's three PDFs from Ava Brown. A load of bought ones. One I had for my birthday, which yes, my birthday was last month in June, but I was away when it arrived, so when I had it. So, so the first book I've got here is Fantastic Beauties by Demita Victoria. I do love these books, and I think they are stunning. So I'm just have a quick look through some of them. This is book one, so there's more than one. So you get two sets. I don't mind that because, like I said, when Jennifer's older, if she's still into colouring, which she might be. She can have the set in sets and I'll just chop the box it books in half and put them in folders. But yeah, they're really nice. Really nice. And of course she gives you some colouring tips as well. So on like how to do the lips. Which I think is really good. So the colouring tips are in there. There's another book by her somewhere in the collection. So there's that one. I got the Disneyland park colouring book so this is so Disneyland California or uh, Anaheim um, which I have actually been to which is one of the reasons I wanted it it's the only Disney park I've been to I'm not particularly interested in going to Florida because the heat and humidity would absolutely kill me Paris I would love to go to and even the Japan one I'd love to go to but this is great because you've got all these fantastic Toontown I remember Toontown um, we went on the Paradise Pier as it was back when I went, the roller coaster, it's now Pixar Pier um, and all this stuff. So this is somewhere I've actually been. It wasn't all open because we came in winter so some of it obviously they didn't have the Star Wars stuff there then. Um, I know it's a bit off centre but I just thought it would be really nice. I don't own a lot of Disney books, in fact this is the only one I own other than a Star Wars one. <clears throat> but uh, I do love it. I do wish they'd had where they've got the picture of the castle. I wish they actually had the picture of Disney holding Mickey's hand um, with all the little and then the castle in the background because I really love that look. But oh, this is just so adorable. Welcome to Disneyland. Oh, it's very warm still. Yeah, people I know are putting their heating on because it's the end of July um, and it's gone a bit chillier, but I'm boiling. This house holds the heat. Uh, I've got Angelic Beauties by Rachel Mintz, Grayscale Colouring Book for Adults. Now, this, there's some beautiful pictures. They're almost like photographs. They look like photographs. So I'm going to just zoom in just a tad so you can see better. And look, I mean, look. They're photographs. Surely these are photographs, not artworks. I'm sorry about the big shadow. That's a stack of books. They are, look, I mean, look at that. That's lovely. She's got a butterfly on her face. But they're just lovely pictures. I actually do quite like this book, and I'm, I'm sure we'll colour in it a fair bit, because they look quite simple to do. They're not too difficult. But I really like them. So that's that one. So there's six, 30 um, different pictures, but there's 60 in all. So then there's two of each, which means I could do uh, the same picture twice. I could do a blonde, I could do a brunette, and so on. Fantastic. And next, the only Satchin Satch Diva book I've got is the 50 Diamond Mandalas Colour by Number. I've seen this on various channels, and I thought I really want that one because I love colour by numbers and I love mandalas I, I mean I'm not big on colour by numbers but I love colour by number patterns more than I love pictures although I'm, I probably will get a few and this camera is not straight you know let's try that is that that's better 
so yeah I mean I have done one in here and I always with these patterns but go in order of I do them in order there in the book and I just really like this book and I can see me doing lots out of it like I said I've done one in it already absolutely love love it so yeah I, I really enjoyed that so I like that one I'll put that to one side because I need to show you that there's actually a couple of books left on the shelf that I haven't picked up um, for my birthday Jennifer gave me Luna by Maria Trolley. She doesn't know what it is she gave me, but that's what I had. Oh god, this camera's not in the right place. It's because I've, I've not been up here much lately, and I love this book. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I will, will be carrying it as soon as I can. Little cat there. There's just some, uh, her pictures are just so beautiful. Oh, look at this one. I love this one with the girl and the little rabbits around her. That is so adorable. Isn't that? So there's that one. It's going to be a fairly decent long haul. Not a hugely long haul. I've watched a two hour one earlier. I, I got um, another Jade Summer one for my collection. This is the kids colouring book but it's unicorns. I just fancied it, you know kids books only tend to have one of each picture instead of two and I just thought look how adorable it is like, you're not going with a dirty bear I want to cuddle it you know a nice simple oh, unicorn mermaid I just think they're just adorable unicorns in space unicorn love I, I think it's just a lovely book and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I might give some of it to Jennifer. Oh, I can always get another copy. But yeah, I really like this. I'm not really sure why this camera's not in the right place. Let's move it down. That's a bit better, isn't it? Let's try it like that. I do apologise. This is going to be a really bad haul. So there's that one. Got an Ava Brown Mermaids colouring book. Now they put out another colouring book with mermaids in it this month, so we'll see if you've seen that too. Um, but yeah, very nice. Again, two of each. Mermen and mermaids. Very cute. I like that one. And then there's the back. Yeah, I like things with people in it. So mermaids, they're peoply. There's the colour of one. And some of them are more in-depth than others, as with all of Ava Brown's book, but that's what I like. So this is the book, or the magazine rather, that the gel pens came on yeah I, I'm thinking you should be further over that way because normally you are uh, let's move it a bit over there so I'm not continuing to put it out of frame so this is just an art book and it's got sweet designs it's from Lidl's it's a children's value pick with an extra gift it is it's a kid's book but it's not a child's book I mean look at that I love this I think it's so cute so and, and yes there are double pages but what I might do I mean, I'm never going to do that. I don't know what's on the other side. Oh, that one. Let's talk more. Ice cream. I like it. I like ice cream. So what I might do is just cut the book up and colour what I want and put the rest of the sheets to us. See, Jennifer's had a colour in this one. <laughs> That's fine. And then Jennifer can have some of the pages like that one. I don't mind. I mean, it was just for fun. Gumball machine. They're always fun, aren't they? ice creams California dreams yeah so there's just sort of like lots of different types of pictures and colouring pages donuts so I will just take some of them out and, and colour them and put them in a like that I love things like that like this one it's got your camera and your ice cream I love that um, so yeah, I'd probably cut them out and put them in a poly thing when I cut them, colour them. Secret Village Summer is one of the Eva Brown uh, PDFs I have this month. So this is a fairly new one. I coloured one picture from it, which I have posted on their page. Again, very sweet little mi mice in their little Secret Village. I do like that. It's a cute one. Uh, and I will revisit it and do some more in it at some point so I've got so many books so little time yeah I 
do like that one. So these aren't in the order I got them either. They're all over the place. Let me just grab the others off of here. I'm going to grab the last few. And then I can just do those. So next I've got Jade Summer's Country Summer. This is a newer book. I think this is the latest one they've put out. And there's 50 different pages, two artists. Totally different to how they used to do it. There's a, a flip through of this on the channel if you want to check it out. I quite like that one. They are they are really nice and I've seen that one coloured. I've, I've mentioned that in the flip through actually. And I do really like it. I like that page, so I probably will do that one at some point. I just think they're really, it, it's just a really sweet book. Now, uh, on the way back from holiday, oh, I don't know, uh, we stopped at the services to have something to eat and I went into the WH Smith there and I bought two books there because they won't buy one half price. So I've got the Healing Mandala Pocket Colouring Book and it is tiny but it's good for putting in your bag with some gel pens and that's, what I was, that's how to do one I assume. So you've got a coda. I mean to me that, that's not a mandala but it's a picture in a circle. I'm just going to zoom right in so you can see it. But some of them I really like. Quite like that one. But you know, like sometimes when Chris was home, I used to take him to see his pensions advisor. And he'd go, I mean, he's not coming home this year again because of the COVID thing, but I'd take him over to Bristol to see them and he'd be like an hour or so. That's a nice one. And I'd just go and sit in a coffee shop. There's a, a coffee shop there and I'd go and sit in it, have a, a hot chocolate, a cup of tea and uh, a colour while I'm in there waiting for him that one nice small one and the second one I got was the Harry Potter Mag magical creatures one now this is the only Harry Potter one I've got I love Harry Potter I love the books I'm not I like the films and I love the Lego games but I'm not a big Potter fan I do like them though um I really want magical artifacts as well but uh, this will do for now and funny enough of Cerberus out of all the pictures in here I hate spiders the most but that's the one I want to do with the spiders and there's a big spider somewhere as well I'll find it uh, where's the big one there's a big spider somewhere oh let's have a quick look you've all seen this I'm sure there I really want to colour the big spider yeah I hate spiders but yeah I will get the others when I can be bothered it's just having the time and the space but yeah I thought I'd pick one of those up Colouring Heaven Fantasy Figures Special, that's this this last subscriber one, the new one's not out yet, I think it comes out the week after next or something like that, or next week, I'm not sure. I, I like them, I haven't coloured them yet but I do want to, it's having the time, like I said I've got so many books and I've still got a huge stack coming here to get through. But I do like the ones in that one. Um, one that came in yesterday was a pre-order but it's late, you'll all have seen this by now, it's Creative Haven, uh, Fabulous Fashions of the 1980s. It's not as good as I was hoping, I was hoping for some more pop culture stuff like Ma the Madonna style stuff and there's none of that really in here. I'm, I'm not saying I don't like it because to me that's very 80s with the big shoulders. <laughs> I'm going to start coughing. And that's quite 80s as well. Uh, and these are... Uh, but I was hoping for a bit of the more funky 80s stuff. But no, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I do like it. I like the way they put these together. <laughs> that one. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, that. Uh. But yeah, they're really good. They're really well done. They're always beautifully drawn, I must admit. That's quite... I like that one. Yeah, so this book is by Ming... Jew Sun and I do actually like it I really like this dress I wouldn't do it white but I do like it um yeah there's some more there and of course you do have some coloured pictures on the the inside this reminds me of the sort of um Dynasty Dallas trivia styles yeah it was a very manly look that what we had in the 80s of uh, wearing golfing stuff for some reason I'm not sure why but there's that one I just gotta grab my drink guys. I'm absolutely thirsty as hell. Let me just grab it. I'm drinking Brothers Wild Fruit English Cider. 
Oh, I've just spilled it on one of my coloring books. It's on one of my PDFs as well. I picked up four Lulu Mayos because I haven't got any. Well, I have now because I've got four of them. I'm still missing three or so. Uh, so I picked up a million mermaids. You've all seen this. Again, it's a nice small one just to pop in your bag with a bunch of felt pens, like water based felt pens, like the Stedler ones. Or some gel pens and all the Crayola Super Tips will do. Just have a bit of fun. So, along with that one, I got a million sloths. And I don't think you can colour them any colour you want. So, you can colour them purple and pink and green and orange. It doesn't have to be sloth coloured. And that's my problem. I like to try and colour things the way they should be. But I'm actually trying to move away from that now. A million unicorns, of course, I have to have a million unicorns because uh, I love unicorns. Look at that one. I've seen that coloured in somebody's. I'm not sure who it was. Was it Country Girls Colouring Misty? It might have been. Definitely seen it on somebody's channel anyway. So yeah, so cute. There's three or four I've got to get. Four maybe? Maybe four. I'm not sure how many she's put out, I'll have to have a look. And the last one I managed to get was a million cute animals. So I'm missing cats, dogs, bears and owls, is that right? You guys tell me, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look on Amazon, as I know they're on there. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at the wiener dog. The dash end. Paul's mum's got a dash end. Oh, these are adorable, aren't they? Look at them. Oh. Oh yeah, I like this. This is very nice. Hi. Oh no, it's a finger mouse. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to have to colour in this one soon. But again, nice handbag sized uh, book if you're ever going anywhere and you're going to be sitting around waiting for somebody. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Another Ava Brown. Next Ava Brown. Beach scenes. This is the newest one. Like I said, these aren't in order in any way, shape or form. I have started colouring um one but it's uh, over on my clipboard which i also bought this month but it's just a clipboard <laughs> yeah there's some nice ones in here i've seen a few of them done um like I said, i've got one on the go it's a nice little book i would probably would have bought this one because it's i would have eventually um if i'm collecting like i collect jade summer they're the sort of ones i would buy more kind of last but there are some nice ones in there that I do want to colour, so I'm glad I've got it. I'll pop that with the other PDF up there. Then we've got Colouring Heaven Collection. This month it would be Care Bears. There's a flip through this on the channel as well. 48 exclusive retro designs of Care Bears and their cousins. I love this. I can't wait to start this. Um, obviously I'm going to try and colour the bears in the colours they're meant to. I'm probably just going to use markers and gel pens because I just think they would look nice. I mean, look at that, it's posting a letter. And it's raining on Grumpy Bear. So yeah, I really, I, as soon as I knew that was coming, I knew I was gonna get this one. The current Heaven Collection ones, which are the ones that you have to buy on top of the subscription, so they're not the ones that are sent to you. I sort of buy them if it's something I like. So for instance, they did Women of the World. I wasn't particularly interested in that, so I didn't get it. I, I, but I, I, I needed this one in my life. I have to have this one. And the last one of, there's only a couple more now, we're nearly at the bottom, uh, is Cute Mermaids, the last PDF of Ava Brown. That one can go last because it's my nice, nice, nice book. There's lots of nice books in this collection. I'm going to start coughing. Cute Mermaids, like I said, I've done one of these. Um, it's on my Insta. If you're on my Insta, you'll have seen it. But these are just really sweet, cute mermaids that I'm going to want to colour. Again, oh, colour test page is actually in the middle because I've got some of the ones I want to colour at the front. But again, these Ava Brown books are really nice. You get two of each picture, so you can colour it. I mean, like I say, I only print out one of each, but if Jennifer wants a copy later, she can have a copy, because I've got a PDF. And I save them all in my, my email folder. I've got a folder called Colouring. The next one I got, I saw this on somebody else's channel. Can't remember whose it was. It's by Dia Lenaham, who's one of our Colour Tube people. Penelope's Garden. I saw this and I thought it was just so adorable. I do have the buns. I have not coloured in the buns. But I just think this is just so cute. Look. 
the little witches some of them are really detailed like that and then you get other ones that aren't you get two of each and they're back to back so they're two together like that so it's easy to find them and then some of them are really not as as detailed which is it's great it's perfect look at that witch I think these are just beautiful and then you get this one just beautiful grayscale where they're on the, the squirrel they're just stunning yeah, it's so sweet. I do love her artwork. I must get more of her books. I might try and get the, them from Etsy because it'd be better paper, but it's really nice. She may cast a spell on you. Another Demeter Victoria book. The Witches. Ah, uh, like you. I love witches. I love anything like that. Of course, Halloween's coming. But to me, I'll colour it all year round. So I'll colour Christmas all year round if I feel like it, if I'm in the mood. I'm going to get two sets of each. Some are very in-depth. Some of them aren't. I think they're fun. I love that one. Look at how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. That's a, that one. I like that one. Sexy Witch. But that is gorgeous I think that's just a stunning book I love it and the final book that I got this month yes I think we're on 30 minutes and the battery's about to go is Tenderful Enchantment so I've now got three of Clara McCover's book as you can see something sticking in it because that's the page I want to colour first I finally got this one I've got two to go fairy miracles fairy celebrations the only two I haven't got now until she puts another one so I'll be saving up to get them soon you've all seen this book I love it. It's stunning. Look at that. So that is my haul for July. I'm going to have to be good in uh, August. If you want to see me colouring any of the books I've shown you today, do let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a flip through and there's not one up on the channel, also let me know what I can arrange for that too. Look out for my completed pages and next month I will be filming my complete colouring book collection and my complete supplies collection. So I'll see you very soon. Bye everybody.